Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an intro in Final Cut Pro. You know, introducing myself to new people as a kid was kinda awkward, but with Final Cut Pro, we can build intros better. I'm gonna share with you how to put together a compelling intro using effects, titles, and transitions. And then we will look at adding markers to our music in order to help cut our footage to the beat. Let's check that out. All right, so we're here in Final Cut Pro and we're gonna take a look at a couple examples of how to create a fun intro for your YouTube channel or a video that you're creating, anything like that. In this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the built-in Final Cut Pro uh, features, effects, titles, and tools. So every intro needs some great music. So for this one, we're just going with a the theme of a podcast about the city. So we went with a, a more urban song. Uh, it's literally called Urban Hip Hop. So went with a, a nice, fun uh, stock image of the city. It's always best to personalize your footage. So if, if you're able to go out there and film something for your intro, that's ideal. So we have titles and other things that we want to add to this, but first I want to make this footage work with this track. So it almost does like a swell right here in the middle. The footage is moving so slow that I think a speed ramp right in the middle here would really enhance it. So we're gonna go with Shift B and then we will bring it in to the end here. Shift B, drag this in right to the edge of the clip. So this, uh, this gray area is the transition and this right here is where the speed will change. To create the, an effect that's a little more dramatic, so we wanna actually change these transitions to be very quick so that it speeds up and then it slows down. But you can go with whatever feels right for your video. All right, much better. So I wanna choose a fun transition for this footage. We're gonna go in here to the transition browser and we're gonna find the wipes and there is a circle wipe. I'm just gonna drag that to the beginning. Now, quick explanation here. You see this gray spot down here. If you right click, you can see lift from storyline. So I have lifted all of the clips and connected them on top of this gap. So this is a, uh, just a gap. It is just a blank space. What's great about having the gap is the audio and the video footage can be attached to the gap and not affect one another. So we're doing a lot of changes, a lot of movements. Uh, so it's best to keep the footage on top of this gap and below the gap for the audio. So that's why this appeared up here. It created a separate little mini timeline. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete this transition that appeared at the end. We just wanted at the beginning. It's a fun transition to kick things off. I want it to cut to a black screen right about here. So yeah, right about here, I want it to just go to a black screen. So what we're gonna do is adjust our retiming that we had before. Bring this down. And then right at this spot, we're gonna put the title. Let's go ahead and bring up the browser, the library here where we have the titles and generators. So we're just gonna look for the custom title, which is right here. Drop that in, resize it. And then with our cursor over this, uh, so that we can see the title on the screen, we're gonna select the title and then come up to the inspector window. We can go ahead and close down the library on the left. Now we can uh, mess with the font. I have pre-chosen one and put that there. But for this example, we do need to change the color to white. All right, so in our universe, we are pretending that this podcast is by two guys named Miles. Miles and Miles. So let's talk about city and stuff. So it, it I, th I think it works. And then what we can do is we can set a transition for the end of this clip here, which we're just gonna go classic with the cross dissolve. So we want that hit. And then we want it to fade out at the end along with the music. So we wanna add a little more flair to this title and have it not just static on the screen. So we're gonna select this title, put our playhead at the beginning. Then we're gonna come up here and find under scale. We're gonna hit a keyframe. Then we'll drag to the end and then go back with the arrow key left one frame, hit another keyframe there. 
And then at the end here, we'll scale this up to, let's just say 115. So what we'll see now, as we play that back, is a nice subtle zoom in. So to get our other titles, we're actually gonna take this same title, and if you hold Option while moving this title, it'll actually copy it. Let's clear out some of these, give ourselves some room. Shift-Z will open up this timeline a bit. We can see we've got our audio track, we've got the video, we've got the titles, and let's play that back. Nice. With introductions out of the way, I want you to know that we share new videos like this all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release our next video. All right, for this next one, uh, I've decided to go with a different style, different music track. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this back. So many of these clips are just not hitting at the right moment. So we're gonna go through and adjust some of these. We're gonna come up here to the cursor menu and see that there's the trim key. The shortcut for that is T. So we'll come in here and what this can do, it can do a couple different things. It can trim the ends of a video or it can trim the middle of the video and drag it across between two clips or on a clip itself, it can drag and find the best moment. Nice, all right, so I like where that's landing. Now this one, ba -doom, boom like you hear a ba boom boom So what I wanna do is I wanna find a spot where these dumbbells are being picked up. Nice, that looks pretty close. Let's just drag this point to right where he's about to switch. So I'm gonna go through the rest of these clips and just get them to just the right spot. So we're gonna look at creating some really great transitions in all of these. So I got an idea for this first one because we've got this sun glare here. We're gonna come over here to the effects browser, click on transitions, bloom. So we're gonna drag this over. We'll give it a moment to render and then play it back. All right, so I'm not the biggest fan of where that is dropping. So let's go ahead and move the music clip over. Nice, okay, that's landing in a much better spot. All right, for the rest of these transitions, I wanna do some movements. I'm gonna bring in push, drag puzzle. All right, bring that one over here. Now, a lot of these transitions, what we can do is we can actually change the duration. So you just hit change duration, and then you can hit like 15 frames, hit enter. And this here, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna hit control D, 15 frames. Let's bring in a few more of these. All right, a lot of this is fine tuning. It's all about finding that right flair, that right movement for your intro. And again, we're just working with what we have here in Final Cut Pro. And let's end with the cross dissolve. All right, so I'm gonna drag in our logo. So let's say you want this to be huge over the whole image but you want it to not distract from what's behind it. Just bring that opacity down, and you've got that logo appearing over the whole intro video. All right, the other thing you can do is you can highlight all your clips. Go ahead and right click and create a new compound clip. Compound clip. And then you can drag and drop different effects on it. So if you wanna add the, that projector effect will just add that look across the entire video. You can also try things like different color presets, like if you wanted it to be brightened a little bit or if you wanted to have a lot of contrast. You can also try to see how it would look if you went with a very comic book look here, which looks pretty rad. So some, something like this, when you go with a really heavy effect, you can actually have your titles stand out a bit more. Like with this image right here, if you put a logo, straight over the top of that. Then as we watch this, you can see Stupid Raisins, the logo really stands out despite the background being so busy. Whether it's for YouTube or a DVD, whatever it may be, have fun, let your personality come out in that video. Try different effects, download presets, do whatever you gotta do to find something that really works for your brand and, and just make it something that you enjoy. If you enjoy it, most likely someone else out there is gonna enjoy it. And with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. I am pleased to introduce a free gift. It's a pack of Final Cut Pro plugins to enhance your videos and impress your clients. It's worth $138, 
but it's yours free. Click below to get your free gift.